I'm okay now. The pain is fading. Sorry to interrupt, but you need to leave now so we can call this a draw. Hurry up, or the others will come. We should leave too. That okay with you, Kasane? Yes. I'm sorry. I heard from Haruka. It seems like a lot happened while we were gone. If Yuito and his team left, shouldn't we be checking on a certain someone? That's right. Naomi! I'm coming, Naomi! Naomi! Great. We'll go check and see how Naomi's doing. What about you guys? Where are you? We're close by, so let's meet up at Naomi's room. This is the first I've heard there was a communications log. Very observant. That was just a bluff. Luckily, it fooled them. The drugs and the ampules were made from human brains. So, you found out. I heard a researcher. She said that Yuito and his team saw the heads. Calm down, Naomi. I can't do this anymore. If I had known it came from human brains, I would have told them no. It's a cruel reality. But without these drugs, it wouldn't be possible to talk with you like this. Yes, I know. Brains? <laughs> that makes me no different <laughs> from the others. That's not true. You're still you. <laughs> Thank you. But I have to be honest. This is too much for me. I can't do it. I don't want to live if it means other people have to die. Wait, I'll find a way to turn you back, so please don't give up. I'm sorry. Please, I need to be alone. Naomi. You undisciplined rats. I know you can hear me. Get out of Naomi's room now. Major General Karin, you're here at the facility? I'll tell you about the research they do here. Now get out of there so Naomi can calm down. Let's go. I'll be back, Naomi. I'm sorry, Kasane. So, Seiron isn't as unified as I had thought. First, I think you owe us rats an apology for stringing us along through all this. Who owes who now? Huh? I don't care about an apology. Have you found a way to turn Naomi back? If she stays here, she's... Not yet. I'll keep Naomi's psychological well-being in mind, but this facility is the best chance she has. Even if we manage to pacify Naomi, she'll have to continue taking the ampules. They'll be able to do it. Why is Seiron conducting research like this? What are they planning on doing to others using human brains? I suppose I should tell you what Seiron and Suo's true motives are. It all comes down to how each city views others and the Extinction Belt. 
The extinction belt. Suo wants to eliminate the extinction belt to stop the others. While Seiwan believes they need the extinction belt. The differing views of the extinction belt is the root of Suo and Seiran's conflict. I might not agree with their methods, but I can understand Suo's position. Seiran, on the other hand... Why do they think the extinction belt is necessary? That's where the others come from. Seiran is pursuing their counter-other research while avoiding the elimination of the extinction belt. Kagero, what do you think would happen if the extinction belt disappeared? Um, no idea. Why are you asking me? Never mind. In any case, I don't care about what either side wants. More importantly, Kasane. W what What you did here was reckless. I only did what I could for Naomi. Seiron's threats aren't just a bargaining strategy. Watch what you leak to Yuito, and be careful you don't do anything that would put Naomi in danger. <sighs> That's all for now. No, we're not done here. We still have questions. Remember your roles. That will help Naomi more than anything. He looked like he was in a hurry. I wonder if something happened. It's painstakingly obvious that Karin is still hiding information from us. Listen, we've just been through a lot. I think we should go back to the hideout and get some rest. Yes. Hold on, Naomi. I promise I'm going to save you. Welcome back, everyone. You've come here as well. I was afraid I might run into that government official if I went back to headquarters. I'm sorry. Forcing the guy's hand by threatening to put him on the record must have put you in an awkward position. His face was beat red. It was hilarious. If I saw him in person, I would have laughed right in his face. Oh, I would have loved to see that. That bastard totally deserves it. I can't leave Naomi there. I have to hurry and find a way to turn her back. Can I really rely on Karin? You don't look so well. Hey, you better not be thinking about running off on your own to save the day again. No, don't worry. I'm not. Karin mentioned that my power was connected in some way to saving my sister. He did mention that, didn't he? Sure didn't make an effort or even care to explain himself, though. I thought with everything that happened at the other research facility, Naomi would be protected if I asked him. But now, I'm not so sure. There's still so much I don't know. That's true. But to be honest, we barely know anything about the others. That laboratory holding Naomi has the most advanced research on them. So, there's something I've been wondering about that place. You know that truck that you escorted? Wasn't it from Togetsu? Yes. While there were no records, judging from its route, there's no mistake it came from Togetsu. Considering the cargo it was carrying, I feel like Togetsu must be connected to the other research somehow. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Togetsu is not that kind of place. All right. You're from there and you follow their faith. It's a religious community that worships the moon. I've never even heard them say anything about others. But with all that cargo they're providing, they must be connected in some way or another. Togetsu has a long history and managed to establish a different culture from Suo or Seiron. That alone sets it apart. I think it's safe to assume that they have information that would prove useful to us. I've never actually considered Togetsu before, but you might be onto something given the situation. We might find a clue there that will help Naomi. You're really going there? You won't find much. I can honestly say I don't know of any place less exciting. What do you want to do? Let's go to Togetsu. For real? Weren't you even listening? Karin told us not to do anything that had upset Seiron. But I don't fully trust him. If we don't know what he knows or what he's hiding, then we don't have a choice. Then what about Naomi? It might not be a bluff next time. Haruka, 
I have a favor to ask. I'll keep an eye on Ceyron and the research facility, and contact you if there's any change. Thank you. I owe you one. Well, let's get ready to go to Togetsu. Oh boy, I don't like the way this is going. I want to talk to Kyoka. Hey, Kagero. What debt was Major General Karin talking about? I don't know. Maybe he was mistaken, or he was bluffing. I see. Kasane, would you like to talk about gardening? Sure, if you don't mind. This is more than just herbs. Yes. I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Over here. Follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown and what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine. So I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy. But there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry. I was blabbering again. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, you're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil. So it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. Sane? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? I mean just that. I want you to come to Seiron and fight alongside me. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi. But I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. Alright. If that's how you feel, 
I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> Oh, look. What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that. It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead. And you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry, too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, but she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Kasane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. Someone important to Major General Karin metamorphosed, too. That's what you told Yuito. Yuito said a name. What was it? Well, it's a bit of a sensitive topic, to say the least. Sorry, but can we talk about it later? I'll talk if necessary, but I don't feel like it right now. I'm sorry to keep bothering you like this. You're not bothering me. I'm just wondering if I can really offer you anything. I mean, you're a Septentrion, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Hmm, huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Yes, if you would be so kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input, but I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame, but my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. 
Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts. But it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight, more or less. That may be true. But think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength. But I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. He told me I was held captive by my own weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied, though, so I guess this was okay. I think Suo and Seiron are both hiding something. Karin's true motives are still a mystery. I wonder what he's after. All we can do is keep moving and watch them. Man, this is going to be such a pain. Kagura, why are you so against going to Tugetsu? It's where you're from. You're not popular, so you wouldn't understand. But I have a lot to worry about. Oh, being popular is hard. Sorry for not being popular. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings. And it finally made its way to me. I see. That's nice. Yeah. But when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him... How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel, but why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at it. I know you admired him. What? Wait, don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? It's pretty obvious. 
I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Sheedan to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I say it again! Damn it! Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. Really? I know he must have cared about you too. He was a really good person. He was a great mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, why don't you work on your people skills too? I'd much rather use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Then that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get one thing straight. You're not the one leading this platoon. If anything, I'm letting you lead us. Don't forget that. So it sounds like I am the one leading the platoon. I'm just saying, don't be smug. Don't let it go to your head. I feel like I've learned a little more about you. However annoying that may be. I don't know what you mean by annoying, but it's good that we understand each other better. Kasane. What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for... <clears throat> we'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Here, drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. I'm sorry, I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Sheedan to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. 
Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Kyoka, was that... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, it's not like I'm particularly conscious of it. But there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well, I feel so much better thanks to you. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. What happened here? I was only gone for a minute. Ugh. Kasane, it's Kyoka. What about her? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to stop her. Clean sweep? It looks like a tornado went through here. Shiden? What happened to you? K Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. <sighs> Damn it. I should have known from the way it looked. No, wake up, Shiden! <laughs> ah, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane! Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. Um, I'll pass. Oh, you're not hungry? That's not good. I can make you some porridge then. <laughs> I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again. It might be bad for her health, and it's definitely bad for ours. I really admire you, Kasane. You've only been in real combat for a short time, but you lead everyone so calmly. I think your leadership is what allows me to be so calm in a fight. Now you're just flattering me. I'm glad to help, though. If there's anything you want to ask me about, don't hesitate. You might hate my meddling, but I can't stop myself from worrying about you. I'm not a fan of it, honestly, but it's not that bad when it's you. 